Silence, a lack of sound, but for a hunter it does much more. Adventure and excitement hide within. We are in Hungary, near a small village called Kajdacs. Pál is on to take his first throwback with a muzzle loader. This is history. Hunting with the muzzle loader is an excellent challenge. Open size and curved trajectory limit the range. It is the end of August, and our plan is to call the roebuck in to cut the distance. Tomás, a professional hunter, is a real expert of the area and the roebuck hunting. He is well equipped with the knowledge and tools to make this beautiful and ancient hunting method successful. It is only 5 o'clock in the morning, and the weather is already hot. Our guide knows the territory of every single roebuck in the area, and also knows the places that offer the chance for a muzzle loader. The gentle sound of the calling whistle spreads all over the plain. The roebuck is known to spend the nights in the cornfield. Replicating the calling sound of the young roe deer can pull him out from his hideout. It is not easy using the whistle efficiently, needs a lot of practice and experience. We spend at least 40 minutes hiding at the edge of the sunflower field, but nothing seems to move. But then finally, after a long wait, something happens. A male white boar. It is not common when a white boar comes in for the call, but it can happen. It is not a road deer, but we are not planning to miss this beautiful opportunity. The distance is 120 meters, a bit too much. The boar seems tiny in the sights, but the rifle rests on a shooting stick, helping a secure hold. Pal gently cocks the hammer, sets the trigger, and aims. But the boar senses something as the wind turns, and stops to take a turn back to the corn. Shoot or don't shoot, Pal decides to take the last chance. We can clearly see the low impact behind the boar. It's a clean miss, but what a beautiful thrill it was. Not a bad start for sure, but now it is time to reload the rifle. The conical bullet is propelled by 100 grains of 2S Swiss powder. The charge is carried in the hunting pouch in plastic vials to ease the process. The bullets are pre-lubed and also ready to be loaded. An experienced hunter needs only 20-30 seconds to do the job, but you can be sure that there is no fast second shot with a front loader. Always push the bullet down gently, never leave any air gap between the bullet and powder. Apply the same force each time and you'll have an accurate rifle for sure. Remember, safety first. After loading, cap your rifle with the barrel pointing in a safe direction and rest the hammer in the half cock notch. When crossing hard terrain, obstacles, always remove the cap from the nipple to avoid accidental discharge. <laughs> the rifle Pal is using comes from an age when each and every single firearm had the magical human touch. Wood and metal, simple as it is, and still it is a piece of art that serves the hunters and shooters for more than 150 years now. Our hunter is a lefty, but the rifle is heavily right-handed. 
probably not the best setup, but still it seemed comfortable. The set trigger is a dream and the special wooden trigger guard grip makes the rifle unique. The folding rear sight and the brass front sight are both adjustable, so you can fine tune the rifle to your exact load. Also peep sight is hidden in the tank, elegant but not too useful addition. This beauty was built sometime in the 1840s in München, Bavaria. The bore is rifled and the caliber is 15 mm. We carried on stalking through the cultivated fields, checking each and every spot known to have a buck. Unfortunately the weather was so hot the bucks just did not plan to play with us. All was dead quiet as the sun rose above the horizon. It is only half past 6 and already around 28 celsius. Not a good sign for the rest of the day. Tomás has a plan to check another field nearby and then head for the forest. The hunting grounds of Kojdoch are located between two small rivers, the Sharvis and the Shio. With large areas serving as flute basins, this area has always been inhabited since the Bronze Age, offering excellent grounds for agriculture and hunting. It didn't take too much time to spot a buck again, but the distance can be at least half a mile, but Pal and Tomás gives him a try. Unfortunately the bug does not care at all about us, so Tomás decides to change the tool. The louder, sharper sound seems just as useless, so we decide to continue our stalk into the woods. After another 30 minutes pass spots a buck again, just to the other side of the field. The distance is not more than 300 meters and we have good cover in the edge of the forest. Time to try the calling again, although the buck already seems reluctant due to the hot temperature. Tomás tries everything as we hide behind the bushes, without success. The buck carelessly walks into the woods and disappears. csavar. Amivel lehet állítani a hangot, hogy élesebb legyen, vagy, vagy esetleg mélyebb. És akkor az alapján lehet. De hát ezzel meg lehet még játszadozni, mert azt mondja, lehet a sutának a izéját, a vésirámjától, meg a gitának a vésirámját is nyomni uh -huh. vele, amire ugye az idősebb akok ugranak, hogy... Hát ez egy komplet zeneszerszám. Ja. Hát ez ennek meg kell tanulni az itt Hát a másik az meg az. Ez sima. Hubertus. Síp. Tekerős, állítható. Itt lehet szabályozni vele a hangot, szintén be lehet állítani rajta a sutát, a gidát, tehát mind a két hangot ugyanúgy lehet vele imitálni, mint ez. Mondjuk Magyarul fából fából. Igen, de én megmondom őszintén, hogyha előbbi hallgatod a puttolót, most az ember meg ezzel fúj azért. Teljesen lágyabb szerintem. The morning is over and our chances vanish in the hot sun, but Tomás still has some surprises for us. Leads us into the very heart of the forest to reveal the secrets of the area.
In the middle of the no man's land hides a small castle built in the mid 1700s. The Hymer Jesenski castle was built by noble Ignaz Hymer during the reign of Mary Teresa. The old building served as a hunting castle for centuries, but today it is close to complete destruction because of the collapsed roof. Entering the rooms is like a travel back in time. Probably if you listen enough you will hear the chat of the Welders, Damas and Nobles, spreading rumors about the king and queen, exaggerating yesterday's hunting successes. On the wall of the main hall, an old fainting fresco tells the story of a famous hunting accident from the times of King Joseph II. In a few years, this will vanish forever as well. The terrace in front tells the story of summer balls with guests from all over Europe dancing and having fun not caring about the future at all. It is sad to see this happening. I still think that its story should not end like this. It could be saved. Only a few meters away from the main building, the top of a monument pops out of the jungle-like bushes. Parts of the statue is already in ruins, but the monument itself still stands remembering the wedding day of Anna Salkoy and Janusz Hymer. The chronosticon tells you the date. Can you solve the clue? Just a bit of help. The larger capitals indicate Roman numbers. Add the numbers and get the date. It is time to leave the castle, but the adventure is still not over. Before taking a nap in our home, we had one more waypoint to reach deep in the woods. the cemetery chapel of the family. Also close to collapsing and thrown apart by wonders of the past decades. The deepest wound in the building is the opened and rubbed grave of the family, still waiting to be covered again. Climbing the stairs to the gallery reveals how beautifully painted the chapel used to be. Probably the organ was sitting somewhere here. We leave the buildings with strange feelings in our hearts. Healing the wounds, putting things right, saving history. That's why we need a shout out for this heritage. Never giving up. Like the old tree just at the entrance. Could be a few hundred years old, wounded many times, but still grows green leaves each year. After stoking six hours in the woods and fields, we decided to get back to our residence, which was in fact a 200 years old traditional Hungarian farmhouse, renovated to 21st century standards. 
wine cellar, hannery and an excellent kitchen makes the place perfect for meat lovers like us. After a long walk in the hot weather it was a pleasure to cool down a bit and wait for the late afternoon hours here. The adobe walls are cool in the summer but keep the warm in the winter. That was the aircon of the 19th century. It's 6 o'clock in the afternoon but the temperature is still hot. But no matter how uncomfortable it is, the time is here to enter the forest again. This part of the ground is a completely natural swamp land, an excellent territory for red deer and wild boar. Undisturbed nature, that is. It's like a tropical jungle in the heart of Europe. Hungary is arguably one of the best places on earth to hunt roe deer. The season for bucks starts in the middle of April and lasts till the middle of September. The most enjoyable period is the time of mating in July-August. The bucks are full of adrenaline and their antlers show the most beautiful colors. Usually they react well for the calling, so if you know how to use the whistle you can even try bow hunting. The bullet pad is using for the old rifle is a compression bullet with one large grease or compression groove. The cone is followed by the thin shoulder that acts like a vet cutter, resulting a clean entrance and exit wound. With 310 grains or 20 grams weight it is considered a light hunting bullet with a flat trajectory. The diameter is 0.2 mm less than the length to length diameter of the bore, so the gas pressure upsets the bullet into the rifling. European roe deer loves open terrains, especially in the breeding season. The bucks usually fight for the best territories to attract the female. The female roe deer gives birth to usually two opposite sex fawns after a delayed implantation in next year June. Unfortunately that day all the best buck territories were extremely quiet. Nothing responded to the cause, so we decided to set sail for a stalk to the cornfields nearby. The sun was just about to hide behind the horizon, leaving us only an hour to fulfill our task. As the temperature dropped to acceptable levels, the wildlife seemed to wake up finally. The fox was going after his dinner. It could have been a good shot, but that would have ruined our last chances for a buck, so we decided to let him go. Another 30 minutes passed again. I was already giving up the chance when finally a buck was barking from the corn. Tomasz tries the calling sound of the phone. And finally, like a ghost, the buck steps out to the open at a distance of more than a hundred meters. He is clearly interested, but rather curious about the silhouette not matching the calling sound. There is no cover and there is no other chance. No, not a found, he thinks, and gently walks away. Now it's time for Tomasz to try the lower tone. The sound of the grown female stops the buck again. It's not too interesting either, but moves the buck to a shooting position. 130 meters, not an ideal distance for sure. It was not a good shot at all, the bullet hit too much to the rear, but the deer collapsed right at the spot, which is a good sign. 
Tomar sneaked on the back to check if there is a need for a second shot, but the large lead slug did its job, taking away his life in a few minutes. Giving the respect to the fallen game is an important part of the Central European hunting culture. This is something that a true Hungarian hunter would never ever miss at the end of the day. Stopping for a few minutes, thanking the game for letting us take in his life. These are not just empty phrases. Hát az életem legszebb élménye volt vadász élménye eddig. Eddig is csodálatos dolgokat értem meg, de ezt a milyen módon és megfelelő tisztelettel lehetettük el uram. Én úgy gondolom, hogy csodálatos élményhez jutottál mindannyiunkat. Hát te is engem figyelj, mert én örülök, hogy csodálatos. Kifélhettelek, és hát hogy nekem is egy teljesen úgy vagy előtöltőssel egy ilyet magad össze ívásba. Minden tiszteletem az életéhez is. Tisztelet. Nem vélem, meg lesz ilyen kalamba részünk. <gül> Együtt. <gül> Returning to her guest house for an ice cold wine, a good plate of traditional Hungarian food, and a long talk deep into the night. The hunting day could not end better than this. <laughs> Magyarság, 